Your attention, Your attention please. please. Now pitching now jokes in relief, relief, the ace, the of, ace the of the bullpen, bullpen Jan, Jan Murray. Jan Murray in relief. Jan Murray in relief. That's all I hear. Jan Murray in relief. Beginning to feel like a giant roll aid. <laughs> but I didn't come here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, to talk to you about heartburn. I want to discuss a little subject that can create heartburn, can cause heartburn, and that subject is marriage. Do you realize it is more difficult to get a driver's license than it is to get a marriage license? They don't even give you an eye test to get married. Perhaps that explains all the ugly couples you see nowadays. <laughs> driving cars. <laughs> well, just think about it. In order to get a driver's license, you must first pass a written test where you have to answer over 50 questions correctly. But to get married, where you can conceivably spend the next 50 years of your life with a member of the opposite sex, they ask you two questions. Do you take this woman? I do. Do you take this man? I do. And that's it. You're married. Then you get her home, you find out you do, but she doesn't. She's got a headache. <laughs> Oh, I swear to you, my friends, if I had my way, I would pass a law. Any couple under the age of 21 wishing to get married must first have to live together for at least four weeks under actual battle conditions. You think that's a bad idea? I would do it. I swear to you, I would do it. I'd get him a little apartment in a fifth floor walk-up. Then I'd go to Hertz, rent the kid. I'd rent them three little children. <laughs> Two should have colds with running noses. And one wouldn't even be potty trained. <laughs> then I would throw in two pets, a cat in heat and a dog that isn't housebroken. <laughs> See how much singing and dancing goes on with this couple. Now let's see how much hugging and kissing and pinching and biting goes on. If these two kids could come out of that apartment four weeks later and tell you they're still madly in love and they want to get married, then I say to you, give them the okay and take them right to a priest. The reason I say take them right to a priest is because no Jewish couple could survive this test. <laughs> But what can we do, my friends? What can we do, we adults? We try to lecture the kids. We try to teach them what's right. They don't listen. You know, talking to the youngsters today, I feel like it's all passing me by. Maybe I'm getting old or something. I don't, certainly don't feel old. You know what they say, my friends? There's no such thing as chronological age. You're as old as you feel. Well, if that's true, then I'm still young and sharp and hip. I still dip when I dance. <laughs> You know the most terrifying part about growing older in our society, my friends? They don't let us grow old gracefully. None of us can look and act our ages anymore because America loves youth and youth alone. If you're over 30, you may as well drop dead. <laughs> Consequently, the eternal struggle to stay young and gorgeous and glamorous, damn it, it's wearing me out. <laughs> you know what a thrill it is to see grandmothers running around with halter tops and surgical stockings? <laughs> Even me, I put an inch around my midsection. I panicked. I ran right out and bought one of these weighted belts. You've seen them advertised. They weigh like 90 pounds. You walk like a zombie a whole day. You're supposed to lose 20 pounds in a week, and it worked. First week, I lost 20 pounds from the surgery. I got a hernia dragging his belt around. <laughs> and you know the saddest part about getting older, my friend? You can't catch up to yourself. Before you fix one thing, something else rots away on you. I bobbed my nose, my teeth went. I put caps on the teeth, I noticed I got a hunch on my back. I got myself a brace, I broke out in a fungus in varicose veins. And I'll tell you something else happens, you get a little older. People start to put you down, insult you. Like my own doctor recommended I go to Nahan's clinic in Switzerland and get those injections that make you young and virile again. You heard about Nahan's clinic, sir? All the rich old millionaires from all over the world go there and they give them these injections. It's the placenta of unborn sheep. I mean, that's what they do. I swear, they take the placenta of unborn sheep, they take these little old guys, they give them seven, eight injections. You see 90-year-old men chasing young dames. They forget why, but they're running, they're going, they're looking. <laughs> well, I'm not going to heck with them. Ain't nobody going to inject me with the placenta of unborn sheep. I don't think it's good. I think it's bad, and I'm not going. 